Notes have now been released from the jurors who found two Baltimore City police detectives guilty of racketeering and robbery. Those notes provide new insight into their decision making process. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Hall with that and more on the impact of this landmark case. Mike? Denise, there were two dozen notes, and several of them have questions from the jury about whether the defendants were armed at certain points. They were ultimately not convicted of a firearms charge, but the jurors found them guilty of everything else. Now that jurors found two Baltimore City police detectives guilty of racketeering and robbery, the investigation is underway into possible wrongdoing by other officers named at trial and not charged. City Councilman Brandon Scott believes there will be justice there, too. I know that the new commissioner is going to take that seriously. I know that he knows that folks like myself and my colleagues and others are going to hold them accountable. The massive corruption scandal exposed how a unit of rogue officers terrorized parts of West Baltimore, where people are relieved at the verdict. You swore to protect and serve the, pup, the people of the city. You did what you did, you got what you got. I was surprised because doing the Freddie Gray thing, it seemed like the police always get off. Artist Young Moose even rapped about Detective Daniel Hersel found guilty in the case. Moose claimed Hersel harassed him and his family. Detective Hersel here, swear to God, he ain't right. There are open questions. Does the death of Detective Sean Souter, who was mentioned at trial, fit into this? Oh, how can a cop that was supposed to testify against other cops die the day prior going to court? And what will happen to the thousands of other criminal cases handled by these tainted officers? All of the officers have been implicated since 2011, and some of them, their conduct dates back as far as 2006. Herschel and Detective Marcus Taylor face 60 years in federal prison. A total of eight officers will be locked up because of crimes committed while part of the once lauded gun trace task force. We have to think about the damage that was done, uh, the families that were ruined, the trust that was broken. Those just released notes also reveal that jurors had questions about the city police overtime policy and about those unofficial paid days off when an officer found a gun that witnesses said were commonplace in the department. Reporting live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you, Mike. Now, the jury was made up of nine women and three men, and they deliberated for around 12 hours.